So the primary uh, control techniques for feral pig management come down to 1080 baiting and aerial shooting. That will give you the biggest knockdown initially and then following up with trapping, ground shooting and exclusion fencing. 1080 is a substance that is grown in native trees throughout, throughout Australia. It has advantages of, of being uh, quite cheap. Uh, you can use it readily. It's a really good and effective technique that we'll use. One of the other alternate toxins that is a, a relatively newer one is sodium nitrite, or it's um, known by its brand name Hoggon. In our trials of it, we've typically found that the pigs are dying relatively close to where they've actually taken it. For those that, that want to basically be able to see what you've got, that is a nice effective poison. It is a more expensive one and there's a little bit more work involved, but the issues with secondary poisoning typically aren't there that you may get with, with some 1080. Aerial shooting is also a very handy, very, very good control method. It basically takes you to where the pigs are. So if they're in the crop, you can get in there, you can you can do your control and, and you can fly around and actually find where they're living and hiding in the creeks and that sort of stuff. It's good for a very quick knockdown and cover a lot of country very fast. It is expensive, but like I said, it does knock down the pigs quick. Secondary to that, is probably your, your trapping. And, and trapping can be very successful as well. The biggest trouble is it, it can become very time consuming. You've got to go and visit your traps every day and particularly when they're set, you do have a legal requirement to check your traps every day. And any pigs that are in there, you need to destroy them so they're not suffering at all. There's also ground shooting. Really they, they're not going to take a lot out of the, out of the environment. You're really only going to get you know, one shot or two shots at your pigs and, you know, if you get three or four, you've had a really successful day. In a mob of 30, taking out that many is not really going to help you too much. Rely on your baiting and your aerial shooting and use all everything else to, to mop up what may be left behind that, that didn't want to take the bait and didn't want to go under the traps. 